Hi guys, I'm here with your Bible reading for today. Um, I told you guys in yesterday's Bible reading that I just got up that I'd tell you about church like I told you guys I would. Um, I decided to put it in this video because this is the one that I'll share um, to the various places. And, um, well, we was all planning on going to um, church, but Sherm's back was hurting really bad. And his stomach, you know, where his, um, oh, I didn't get to tell you guys, I'll think, about his um, kidneys. I hate to tell you guys twice if I already told you. I think I probably already told you guys. But he's got cysts in his kidneys, and, um, yeah, it's making his, it makes his back and stomach hurt really bad. It's called, um... What do you say? Polycystic kidney disease? I think that's what he said it was. Um, Sherm's mom also has cysts in her kidneys. We didn't know it um, until he called her because he said, the doctor said it would usually, like, you know, be inherited, run in family. You're, he said, I bet somebody in your family down the line has had to have it. And when he called his mom, his stepdad told him that his mom has cysts in her kidneys as well. So, um that big one he wasn't sure about he thought it was the size of a golf ball he thought it looked really solid on the cat scan and that's why he thought he came in and he's like i was afraid i was going to, have to tell this you this young guy that he has a 25 percent chance of that being cancer um but he said after the mri you had which i was going to send you for but i seen your doctor already did um family doctor and she did um, he said on the MRI it looks less like a tumor and more like a big cyst, but a different kind of cyst than the other ones. I forget what he called it, but he said it looks like it's filled with blood and other kinds of proteins. And he said um, kidney cancer grow, the tumors grow really, really slow, um, like one centimeter a year, he said. So, he, because he said if I give you another a uh, CAT scan or MRI in a three months, it still won't show anything different because it's so slow. So he has to go back in a year. He's already got the appointment set up, they do, and um, for another MRI and in a year to see if it's changed. And if it hasn't grown or changed, then he's pretty confident that it is a cyst. But if it has grown, he will have to probably do a biopsy on it. So thank you guys for the prayers. And please continue to pray for him, for my husband, Sherm, that it is just a cyst and that we don't have to worry about him having kidney cancer. Um, I'd really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so, so much, and please keep praying for him. I'd really appreciate it. So would he. All right, now about church. He was hurting too bad, so we didn't get to go because, um, you know, I'm in a wheelchair, and it's just a regular wheelchair, and he has to push me. And it's, you know, a little ways down there. It ain't that far, but when you're hurting like that, it's kind of hard to push somebody of my weight, you know, back and forth up the road. So um, we didn't go. And plus, then I got sick that night. I had, like, severe diarrhea all night long. <laughs> and I really didn't want to, you know, go somewhere like that because I was going to the bathroom, like, every five minutes all night. I'm serious. It was horrible. Just out of nowhere. <sighs> but we didn't get to go, so I'm really hoping that we get to go to Bible study this Wednesday. We both go to the doctor that day, but that's in the morning. In the mornings, um, at 9 and 9.20, our appointments are. Um, so I'm hoping we get to go to Bible study that night in church on Sunday, but, you know, of course, that's God willing, depending on how our bodies are, I guess. See if they want to fight us that day or not. All right, I was talked about five minutes. I'm sorry. I was thinking I'm going to get, I'm going to start this over and not tell all that, so I can make it shorter. But I know you guys want to know if I didn't tell you, and I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself and I already did tell you. I apologize about that. I have a bad memory here so, lately. All right, uh, our Bible reading for today, we're going to begin 
with 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. We'll be reading verses 12 through verse 28. The final instructions. Now, we ask you, brothers and sisters, to acknowledge those who work hard among you, who care for you in the Lord, and who admonish you. Hold them in the highest regard, in love, because of their work. Live in peace with each other. And we urge you, brothers and sisters, warn those who are idle and disruptive. Encourage the disheartened. Help the weak. Be patient with everyone. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not treat prophecies with contempt, but test them all. Hold on to what is good. Reject every kind of evil. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Brothers and sisters, pray for us. Greet all God's people with a holy kiss. I charge you before the Lord to have this letter read to all the brothers and sisters. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And that's where we're stopping with First Thessalonians. And now we're going on to our psalm, which is Psalm 82, a psalm of Asaph. God presides in the great assembly. He renders judgment among the gods. How long will you defend the unjust and show partiality to the wicked? Defend the weak and the fatherless upon the cause of the poor and the oppressed. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. The gods know nothing. They understand nothing. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. I said, you are gods. You are all sons of the Most High. But you will die like mere mortals. You will fall like every other ruler. Rise up, O God. Judge the earth. For all the nations are your inheritance. And that was Psalm 82, another beautiful psalm. You know I was going to say that. And lastly for today's Bible reading is Proverbs chapter 25, verses 9 and verse 10. <clears throat> if you take your neighbor to court, do not betray another's confidence. For the one who hears it may shame you, and the charge against you will stand. Okay, guys, that was today's Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I'm glad it was a short Bible reading since I talked so much at the beginning. So I love you guys. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you guys all again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.